Hey guys, so I'm hoping this video won't be too long, but I'm really not sure if it ends up being that way. I may end up breaking it into two parts, but we'll see, okay? So this video is actually gonna be talking about length versus retention. Um, you'll see in the thumbnail where I put things like, is my hair not growing or why won't my hair grow? What should I do? You know, little questions that are very common when it comes to hair, um, whether it's African-American hair or not, but especially in our own community, um, people feel like, black hair can't grow which is not the case clearly i mean my hair's growing itself y'all can see i've got it pulled up um but i i've gained a lot of length over the years um and the big thing that you need to understand when you say oh my hair doesn't grow oh my hair won't grow or their hair won't grow there's a difference between hair growth and hair retention okay so let's break those down for a minute before we talk about either one okay so hair growth actually occurs at your scalp okay our hair doesn't just get longer on the ends these are the same ends that one day or way way back in the past came from our scalp okay we didn't just come out with like hair doesn't just randomly pop up okay it comes from our scalp and as our hair gets longer this gets longer you know it just all of it comes down okay so your hair actually grows from the follicles or the little parts in your scalp so when you say your hair is not growing what you're saying is there is not hair coming out of my scalp, okay? And that's pretty darn rare. I mean, unless you have something along the lines of alopecia where too much tension or something else has happened to make it like literally fall out or like the, the follicle be damaged. Um, people who generally are in chemotherapy at that moment, a lot of times they don't have any hair growth, you know what I'm saying? So nothing is happening at the scalp versus hair retention is am I keeping the length of the hair that's actually growing out of my scalp? Because I know we've all heard this, the hair grows about a half an inch a month, right? So that's the growth that comes from the scalp, okay? But that doesn't necessarily mean you're retaining all of that length, which is why, you know, I've had my locks for almost four years now, but somebody who's had theirs 10 years may have shorter locks than mine. I mean, there's a lot of factors that could be, you know, so maybe our hair is growing at the same growth rate, but we're not retaining the same amount of length, okay? So hopefully that made sense. Comment below if you have any more questions about that part, okay? The next thing we need to understand is how to figure out, number one, which one am I having an issue with, okay? Because each one of them has internal and external factors uh, that could be affecting that, right? So let's start with growth, all right? What are some internal factors that can affect hair growth? Um, well, number one, Everything that we put in our body usually ends up coming out in our skin, our hair, that kind of thing. So if you're putting garbage and things that are not nutritional into your body, you're unfortunately going to affect your hair growth, the health of your skin, everything else. So um, if you are not having a very nutritional diet or let's say you don't drink any water whatsoever, um, your body's constantly dehydrated, what you have to remember is if your body is dehydrated, the first thing it's going to do for survival is to pull water from the extremities. So that is from your skin and hair basically is the one thing that technically, you know, the body deems like, okay, I can pull water from there first. So if you're not properly hydrating your body, you're constantly going to have dry scalp. Okay. And a scalp that is just dry, that is, um, being deprived is not going to flourish. It's the same way with the plant, right? We can plant a seed all day, but if there's no water going into the soil, you know, the soil doesn't have the right nutrients, the plant's not going to grow. It doesn't really matter, okay? Um, so that's more like the internal aspect. Um, could there be medications? Could there be anything that's affecting that? At, at the same time, though, there could be other things like biotin and other, you know, vitamins and things you can take that could increase that ro rate of growth, okay? Now, on the external part, you have to look at, okay, what am I doing to my scalp that could be preventing hair growth? So that could be along the lines of, hey, maybe I don't wash my hair enough and my scalp is really clogged, my pores are not breathing so it can't grow. Or, you know, am I using products that are making my hair too gunky? Am I just combing too hard at my roots and doing manipulating my roots too much where I'm having breakage? You know, because at that point, yes, you would not have... Um, that's like a borderline one because that's kind of like almost like with retention, but we're talking about it, the scalp. So that's more of an external, like, of course, your hair is not going to grow past your scalp if every time that it grows, you're combing and it comes out. You know what I mean? So that's right there in the middle, but we'll come back to that in a second. So 
just understanding is it something internal or external going on um but i guess my thing would be you're not really gonna know until you start making external changes and if you still don't see any progress then you go back to internal okay so let's switch gears for a second let's talk about retention because nine times out of ten okay i'll say eight out of ten but 8.5 out of ten it's retention issues with your hair it's not that your hair is not growing okay so reality is if you're not retaining length, that means there's something that you're doing to your hair or something that your hair is not getting that is preventing it from holding on to the length that is actually growing. A prime example of this is uh, putting too much heat on your hair, okay? Or using too many chemicals on your hair. What happens is, is that your hair strands are damaged because the reality is this hair is dead. All, whether I had dreadlocks or not, once your hair leaves the scalp, it pretty much dies. Um, so we have to properly try to moisturize it to keep it on track so that it doesn't fall out so it's not to say that just because i use some heat just because i add some color or relax it or whatever that you're going to go bald but if you are doing those processes and not at the same time doing the same maintenance to take care of it your hair is going to break off okay and it's going to break off not at the root it's going to break off in all these other areas which is why you see some people around their edges have really like small hairs from where the hair has broken off at the length from being damaged, okay? Um, over manipulation to the hair and the locks can thin your hair because you're doing too much, you're pulling too much, you're combing too much, and that can cause the hair to break off, okay? So th those are things that can happen. Um, it really is just a lot of it's manipulation, chemicals, overprocessing. I mean, just things that are not really necessary to a certain extent for the hair um wigs that are rubbing against things too much you know it's just your hair starts to be like look we can't hold up with all this stuff going on and eventually it can come off um with locks the weight you know some people have buildup or their hair their hair just gets too heavy and usually from buildup and the locks will eventually start to break or, you know, kind of tear at the roots, you know, and they'll have bald spots and things like that, you know. Got me looking at my own trying to make sure. <laughs> um, those are the types of things that can prevent your hair from retaining length because as you're trying to keep the hair that's growing out of your scalp, it's breaking off at the same time. It, it's normal to have a little bit of shed hair and some people are even gonna experience a little breakage, but when the rate of your hair shedding and or breaking exceeds the rate of it growing, you know, um, that's when you're going to start losing a bunch of hair. Now, if they're equal, that's why your hair just seems like it's been the same length forever. And if the rate of shedding is less than growth, that's when you're going to start seeing your hair get longer. Okay, so um, that's really kind of the main differences between the two. I think I'm going to go ahead and record a part two immediately after this and talk about things that will help your hair grow. So um, I'm hoping you look forward to that. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the box below. Did I miss anything when it comes to internal things that can affect growth and retention versus external things that can affect growth and retention? Um, so I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and let's get a discussion going, okay guys? I'll see you soon, bye.